Uh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play of the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode we are going on the offensive and we are bringing death and destruction to another set of Maratha troops. So we've got one weak force in front of us plus this army coming in to reinforce from the flank. However they are incredibly weak themselves. So let's get to it. We need to stay um, as aggressive as we possibly can in India before they start to just overwhelm us. We need to begin scything down the troops that oppose us and as part of that we need our garrisons to we need the cities that we do have to start recruiting troops for garrisons because the armies we have in the on the field or the armies we have on the continent need to begin pushing out and engaging the Marathan armies as they arrive and we can't really do that if we stay um, hunker down in the cities and those garrisons will in time evolve into full armies um, but for now we will keep bringing destruction to our enemies I may deploy bias to the right because by conventional logic they should be coming in from over there the reinforcements that is So let's put our regular infantry into a battle line. Our guards will advance as a bit as a bit of a reserve. And split the cavalry up because we are going to be on the move, except for my howitzers. Actually, they're coming in. Not the worst direction, but definitely not ideal. Um, hmm. Push my cuirassier out, their yeah, bargier lances. They're not dangerous, it's just being aware of them charging so let's start dropping men into square formation also get my howitzers to start dropping quick line because the sooner we clear out this force the sooner we can pivot against the true enemy and I may actually deploy my foot artillery against the reinforcements You guys are going to be slightly vulnerable because you're going to... Perfect. Okay, so as they manoeuvre, we're going to push our cavalry force up. Comes the enemy troop. Here comes the enemy forces. Make sure our cavalry is available. Pushing up. Quick Lime's done some good work. The enemy skirmish cavalry can get repulsed by our, gr our gross looking guards. You are vulnerable. The gorillas are vulnerable, but they will get some shots off with camel moments. Only down the one. Keep firing. You retarget quick climb.
push the crosshair in, withdraw the Freud Corps cavalry. Maybe bring goes back a little bit just so we can get rid of this corner. Let's go for the general's bodyguard. Just let my heavy cavalry will take care of the nomads. And you guys get involved as well. well. I'm going to lose a few hussars to take out the general's bodyguard, but I think it's worth doing. Men charge them, you men try fire a volley into these camel mercenaries. Curious to know why you routed infantry. That could have something to do with it, but I think that's because the infantry came in more than anything. Got the general's bodyguard, so bring my hussars back over here. Hindu warriors plus that general's bodyguard will clear out those men. Phew. She's getting my light cavalry over here. Yeah, I know my Gracia came back. Good stuff. Commit into this fight. I've killed a few of the general's bodyguards, but I'm hoping my uh, heavy cavalry will pick off the remaining guardsmen. Just drop shots in front of the drop shots in front of the line all my cavalry is going to have to retreat behind this square because we're not going to be able to stand against that cavalry kill the enemy general good bring up the hussars Begin curling in this flank. You try get over here. Engage the enemy horse. And form square. Commit my general into the action. They're going to get bent out of shape, so the square may break. Yep, keep forming it. General's going to get involved in this engagement. You men begin engaging with the Bajir infantry. Nice work. You men enter this line to add a bit of extra firepower. My general may die, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Okay, let's begin targeting my supporting artillery. Excellent. There's one last unit of cavalry remaining. Let's make 
good because oh, my general fell in the last the last against unit Zimandari horsemen you see warriors are pushing in but that's okay Slowly push up. And the Sikh Musketeers. This unit of Sikh warriors has lost most of their men. They've been chased off. Cavalry's here just in case these guys. There we go. Break their formation. You'll waver just before my cavalry get on get into your position. That would have been ideal. Charge in. Looks like that is going to be the end of the enemy horse, though, which is very, very nice indeed. Yeah, they're all that's left, those Bajir infantry selects. I need my cavalry routed. This Bajir infantry held off all my guys. But now they're in range of my howitzers. So now they shall die. Let's just both, both of you guys try to get the Gurkhas. There we go. They routed when they experienced my unyielding firepower. Either way, though, this this army's knackered. There's reinforcements coming in off the flank. They really, really unbalanced me. So this army needs some. Needs a period of replenishment. There we go. Two left, and there they both are. Chomp and Chomp. Yep, so this is another reason why we need to keep recruiting our infantry. We do not want a scenario where we get caught out. So you've done a good job and forced them back. So, for example, what I want to do is... Oh, wait, line and colonial line, I see. Let's merge together some of our beaten up infantry. Although only when we when we can actually fill units up. Can't merge those two. But you freed up space for one company line. And one of your cuirassiers is going to take command of the army. Bastia de Almeida. Good. So you need to keep on recruiting. I mean... Lots of infantry first, please. You're stuck with militia eggs, that's all you can get. You need to make sure you're replenishing. So then here we're going to get a church school, and then you can't do anything because you're out of range. I would like to attack them, but we can't get there yet. We've got a tea plantation. This port can be repaired and you can garrison it. Let's upgrade this port. The port could be repaired. Garrison it with one ship. Scoot you guys across. Nice. 
you could do stuff, but you are also going to sit here and wait to recruit some infantry. Although, actually, you have been completed. So let's move. This is probably the, the last company army we really need to build. Let's just land you... I'm going to have to dump you just off the coast. Three of you. So one of you occupy. Uh, let's get these six and one fourth to boost here. There we go. Excellent. So you'll help clear out our cot and then drive north. Across the board, generally, you're building a church school. Still two church schools here in Mysore. Go as nicely Catholic, but they're not yet at zero religious unrest. It was a heroic death. Let's make sure the infrastructure we can upgrade is being upgraded. Send this agent northwest. Look in their room. You could auto resolve against the camels. How much damage can they do? 900 men! That's a lot of damage. One unit of camels. When will I learn? Make sure our cavalry are in. Then. Everyone's researching. Cool. It's hit in turn. Moving up towards the Venice border. My recruitment of ships is still ongoing. Nicely done. So still keeping an eye on you, Austria. You are potentially up to no good. Hmm, they're loading up an army to land somewhere. I'm not sure where. They're landing them somewhere. Ooh! Within spitting distance of the capital. You better hope you don't lose it, Ottomans. I'd get back there and support it if I were you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. The Ottomans have no garrison in the capital. They demand Lithuania, and they want me to give them Estonia. So Lithuania is worth 6,000 a turn, or more. Estonia's worth half that, and they're going to give us a threshing machine. No, Sweden, not interested. You will die like the dogs you are. Whereas the Marathans, at least, at least they are putting together an army to try and stop us. You're more. This is this. Is, so this is part of the reason why I want to have my good garrisons. So I'm not able to clear my lands out without making my territories that I've just conquered exposed. That's why armies in the south are so important to help clear out these troublesome areas. Yeah, that's right, Persia. If you want to try anything, we're right there. Ooh, Venice. Will this be a river battle? I don't think it will be. But I kind of want to do it, just to see. Although we need to be... No, we need, we need a little bit of replenishment. <laughs> we need a little bit of replenishment before we take on the full Venetian army. Bearing in mind, they also have all those troops off... Well, in Greece, not off of Greece. They are in Greece. They've sabotaged a tea plantation. The mongrel cowards. 
There we go. So that's those guys cleared out. You push up to Calicut, push the ship out to sea, and then destroy it. Pronto para a ação. Sim, sim, capitão. So feasibly, you men can leave. Mysore is still well garrisoned. Actually, you can go west to deal with these fellows. Over here, replenish. And then you can push up and attack them. There we go. Now they're going to start panicking. You jump out and attack them. Excellent. You advance up the east coast. You hold the center while we get some re repairs done. Excellent. You men can push out of Goa. You men just attack these guys on the flank. I mean, Amadnagar is exposed, but we don't really want to go for it just yet. Just clear out these stragglers. You men replenish, go towards Amadnagar, demand the surrender. They don't want to give it to us, so we're going to just siege it for now. While we keep recruiting reinforcements. New town emerges, Lexington in Kentuck Territory. Baton Rouge in Lower Louisiana. Lots of enemy raids. Okay, I may now park this navy in the strait to prevent them from prevent Austria from shipping troops through. Just so they have no ideas about sailing into the Americas, for example, and taking any of my territories there. Good. You're, you're already being upgraded. Good, 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 good. Seems good. So they've intercepted us. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna take it. We're not gonna take the bait. I'm not overly bothered about squaring up against Venice at the moment. Keep on upgrading. Conscripts. I mean, we're keeping the Venetian fleet bottled up, so they aren't able... Actually, let's maybe recruit some... Can you recruit two ships? Recruit two second rates, because this means the Venice can't get ships out to Patras until they develop their own port. You will recruit... A couple of third rates to boost your strength. You're a bit ragged. Yeah. Oh. Bits and Briggs. That's going to be a smash him up. Lost two ships, but that's okay. So now. There's another fleet, Venice fleet, but we're going to send you back to Europe. You're going to go occupy this trade post. Let's hop back to Europe. So now you were looking for a... Actually, no, you have repaired. You got to the Far East. Recruit 
recruitment ongoing. And I'm just going to let that tick on. Same here, really. Let that carry on. Um, yeah, what we can really do is hit end turn and let things take their course. You want to push a few armies up the centre towards Hyderabad while you secure the coast. Let's make sure these buildings are getting repaired. Although... You do not have a religious building. So we'll dismiss the pleasure gardens, we'll destroy the pleasure gardens, and then we will build, we'll replace it with a good Christian building. Already the conversion begins in Mysore. So let's hit end turn. We can see the Persian build up. Narun is exposed. Austria's taken Ankara. This may bring Austria and Savoy into conflict, and I will honour my agreements with Savoy, and I will join the war on their side, should that become necessary. Always back my allies against potential competitors. Especially in Savoy, they've done, they've done good for me. I mean, this is assuming the, Ot the Ottomans can't throw the Austrians out of Ankara. So now Sweden wants Hanover and Cuba for Estonia and Finland. They really want increase more territory, so no. Well, now those fleets are blocked in the Med. They can't escape unless they engage my fleet. They are going... Okay, we're going to... Ooh, uh, bit dodgy. Bit dodgy. This this army is vulnerable. Deploy back and defend like mad. And utilise as much firepower as we, we can bring to bear. We can't, uh, we can't retreat because that would be unbecoming. But I did kind of leave them exposed. Ultimately, as long as the army's not destroyed, I'll accept it. Okay. Some of my smallest infantry units, group them together. group all my weak infantry together, but I'm gonna. Especially when they're not all quite as weak as each other. We've got cavalry that's going to need. It's going to push the enemy because they've got uh, mortars. No, oh, no, they're not. You attacked me, so you better. You better come at it. Come at me. Where's my cavalry? So instead, taking my cavalry wing. Actually, just move them to the rear like this. There we go. The gunners have abandoned the guns. Oh, 
let my artillery just attack them, blow the bejesus out of them. Although we may probably want to focus on the cavalry, because it's the cavalry that'll kill us, not the infantry. Speed up time just to let things kick on. And the gunners are going to make it to our lines and they're going to try and suicide charge the artillery, no less. And that might change their mind. Either way, just engage them. Are their guns finally shooting? Nope. I mean, they're the ones that in they attacked me, so... If you're going to do something, you better do it. Too far away for shot or shot. Too far away for quick line. So they're waiting for waiting for their uh, entire force to be in position before attacking, which which I get. How it, my foot artillery just shoot whoever they like it doesn't really matter at the moment. me plenty of shooting when they push. I think my howitzers are probably going to focus on the right flank. That's where the bulk of their actual troops are. So I guess they're waiting. They're going to wait for this unit to get into position, which looks like it's going to be right at the end of the line. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when something happens. So see you in a second, everyone. Here we go. Now they are coming on in, and these Pandari horsemen are going to track the ire of my howitzers first. Ideally, not for long. So, want to start shrapneling the 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 enemy reinforcements as they come in, and ultimately, if they push in too much further, like I'm going to do now. I'm going to switch my howitzers to quick climb. Although ultimately my howitzers are going to be of limited value at a certain point. because they are not going to provide sustained quick climb fire advantage for long enough. There we go, you're within range, so you start shooting. Okay, you men are now in shrapnel shot range, so begin Blasting. Let them witness the firepower of a fully armed and operational battle station. Keep 
loading, good sirs. I need something. Eventually, my howitzer is going to need to go wide and go after these pikemen. If I can get a couple of units to route beforehand, that would be great. Especially if I can hit a unit like these Bajir infantry. That's a bad miss. But you guys aiming straight ahead, you're going to get multiple... Even if you miss, you're going to hit units behind the line. Probably deploy my company cavalry on this flank. My curiosity are going to have to be on my right, because that's where the camels are. Camel gunners. Good hits, good hits. You're going to have to hit the camel gunners with canister shot because you're out of. They're going to be too close. One man engage. Canister shot the camel gunners just to keep them away. All of you. Yeah, push them up. You men switch trap my shot, keep firing extreme left. You men switch trap my shot, keep firing head on. Oh, it's a aim after this unit of camel gunners. These howitzers fire over here. You howitzers fire over at these pikemen. The heavy cavalry can deal with the camel gunners. Actually, no. Pull back. Blasting. Just keep hitting them. Don't let them come back. Quick line coming in. So you men all have to reload. And put your volleys in. Send them all back to the depths. These units are going to have to think out a little bit. Excellent. My company cavalry have to get stuck in, otherwise they're going to hit my 
Oh, it says. These howitzers keep firing for the right, you guys keep firing for the left. Excellent, that's there. Cavalry dealt with, keep my guards on station. They're all running. You hit the infantry mercenaries with canister shot, you men engage. Garrison Hindu Warriors with canister shot. Let's get my company cavalry over on the other flank. Some of these men may come back. Human engage over here. Try hit this Bajir infantry. Coming in. A few men take position here. Good, they've all successfully retreated. Good hit on the camp on the infantry there. Bring the cavalry over here as well. Shrapnel shot the lancers. There you go, that's convinced that they need to charge. Ten of them gone with one hit. More shots coming in. More hits. Wavering and they're exhausted. Yeah, they didn't stand up to that. Now they're pushing up the Hindu warriors. Just get within range. Thank you. You men storm up. All your muskets are reloaded. There aren't many of you, but there's plenty enough to do the damage against the 26th. Why are you giving me regular sounds? Either way. Twist around shot to engage the lancers. Let's speed up. Time because it looks like they're trying to play silly buggers. Fairly sure these Hindu warriors are going to retreat with after a few volleys of musketry. No, nope. cavalry's coming in again. That was a good hit. More shrapnel for the lancers. to the hill. More shrapnel shot. Good. Excellent hits. Whoops. You guys are accidentally retreating. Company cavalry, go get their artillery. them waver. There we go. Now it's just my cavalry has to run down these gunners. They're moving up to a, into a better location. They don't yet know it, but there's a squadron of cavalry on the way. Do you think we'll be okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, bro. We'll be fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Go swords aloft. Oh yeah, the mortars are actually still here. That's the general unit. Okay, let's mop up this cavalry. 
Uh, this artillery, I should say. And there goes the general. He lost his last fighting unit and decided, actually, this is a really bad idea. Stick around. Oof. That was a good win. Although, hopefully, we get a bit more... We get a bit... Okay, good. They've stopped attacking now. Yeah, well, we got early warning. Do I call my allies in? I don't think I do. Not just for Persia. I doubt the Ottomans will join them. No, I didn't think they would. I didn't think the Ottomans, w the Ottomans would join them. They've got a lot of problems as it is. They can't afford a war with me as well. Enemy raid at Surat. Yeah, well, I expect the northern part of the country to be a bit vulnerable for a while. Okay, I'm not quite sure. So you, so you stuck? Maybe you are stuck. Well, you men are going to advance the road to Katak. Let's invest in the southern part of the country like we should do as a decent colonialist. Excellent. You men are all getting up to strength. Some good port upgrades. Let's build my church school. Get some more spices exported. So you guys are actually going to pull back from that attack because I don't want you guys to be. That was that was a bit scary. So let's make sure you guys don't do that again. You can raid. That's okay. Mostly, I just want to focus on down south because you guys, or you guys, you guys probably. Let's attack. Oh, that's, that's just going to be a blip. Although we lost two units doing that, interestingly. Two units of what? Dispatch two units of infantry from Mysore. You're going to wait till Javier gets up into position. Let's do some more building. Corpus Christi. Sloop built. Oh, that's a lot of industry. Satara. Got you built. Got the ports built. You, my saw we've upgraded. Excellent. Colin, got the weaver's cottage built. Don't expect we'll get the tea plantation built, but what, what the heck, may as well have a go. You've all been built, top of the line buildings. Stuff built in Naples. Nice. One thing we can do now that the Persians are at war with us again is we can pick up our army and drop it off the coast of Antigua. And there's nothing they can do about it. Because we're coming to get it back. 
Then, what we can do... This navy can sail to the Indian Ocean. Now we have facilities to maintain our own fleets there. You're still on the go. You're up to strength. Okie dokie. Generally everything's okay. Yes, yeah, so we've got Persia that declared war on us, but... I don't think it's going to really matter a whole lot. They have no access to us from... They have no access to us from um, the West, because the Ottomans are not at war with us. So... Uh, it's these two passes, and I'm afraid they don't have the firepower, even unless they all attack at once. But even then, it's a gamble. Okay, we're about to get machined rifling, which gets us sharpshooters in Kazador, which is pretty neat. Let's hit N10. Oh, we were going back to the bridge, I suppose. No. It shouldn't cause any problems. I don't think Venice is going to push Rome. Even, even if they do, they will bring down a holy firestorm on top of them. I mean, eventually, Austria's got to figure that they have to go to war with us to get access to the Atlantic. Just like the Austrians have destroyed the university. Sweden, give Ingria, St. Petersburg, and they'll offer Estonia. I mean, all that does, it kind of puts them in a bu bubble behind our line, which I don't really want. Um, do I want to intercept? Absolutely not. No, I'd rather you guys replenish. They've come within range of the army behind them, which is better, but that is a boatload of enemy troops. What the hell? That might be fun. But that <laughs> that's a lot a lot of a lot of enemy troops. But at least we're within range of two reinforcing armies, so we're probably gonna want to make sure we've mostly got our best units up front to support because we're not going to want a lot of depleted garbage. But looking at the timer, we'll overrun massively if I fight that now. So what I'm going to do is say thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time where we get to fight this really interesting battle. See you everyone.